Welcome back to Dirty Garage Mods. I am Daniel, your host of this channel, and today I am going to be taking you through the steps to change your rotors and brake pads. First of all, I want to give a big thank you to Detroit Axle for sponsoring this video. Uh, all the parts you're going to see in this particular video is from them. Um, also, while it's fresh on my mind, uh, there will be a link down in the description for uh, my Dirty Garage Mods t-shirts. Um, I will stick a picture in right here and uh, that way you guys can see that. Um, I like these new shirt, this new shirt design I got. Uh, it's a limited time sale. Uh, the starting price is at $24.99. The price does go up just a little bit on just depending on shirt size. But uh, I ordered a 2X for myself and uh, it's $24.99. Uh, with shipping, it was still less than $30. So um, go check that out too. Uh, like I said, the link will be in the description. A uh, link to all my uh, social medias, Instagram, Facebook, uh, stuff like that will be down below. Also, uh, check out my Patreon page. Uh, I'll be uh, posting uh, some of the extras on this uh, on there as well. So, uh, but anyhow, yeah. So, hang tight and uh, we'll get this uh, show on the road. Okay, so your first step here in replacing your rotors is you want to have the right size socket. So on the driver's side, it's a 14 millimeter, and on the passenger side, it's a 13 millimeter. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. But that's how it is on this car. Um, I would say from previous owners. So, anyhow, what you want to do is put your ratchet on there, like so, and just take your handle to your hammer. You don't got to use the actual metal part. I don't like damaging tools, so I always use the wood part. I'd rather break the handle than break anything else. So, yeah. take that and loosen that bolt up. Okay. Good and loose, these bolts will come all the way out, so just like that. It shouldn't have came out that easy. Alright, so anyhow, what you want to do is you kind of get the bottom one it is actually smaller. So on, on my car, I don't know why it shouldn't be like that on every vehicle, but uh, on mine it is. So the bottom bolt is actually smaller than the top one, so you'll want to keep that in mind. It should be 13 or 14 millimeter all the way around, not staggered. I would say more than likely someone at one time used junkyard parts on this. so. And I actually do have a brand new set of them set in my toolbox, so I may very well just switch these out for the new ones. So, we'll see though. Okay, so you want to take your pry bar, just get under there like so. Thank you. 
it should just pop right off. Sometimes it bites you. So, and this would be a good chance to inspect your brake pads. So, um, that brake pad wasn't as bad as the uh, driver's side. So, that means I gotta replace the brake caliper. So, yeah, that brake pad's pretty good. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just use these brake pads. These brake pads are actually under warranty, but so are the new ones that I got. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead while I get, while I got it here. I'm gonna go ahead and push the the cylinder to the caliper back in. So. All right, so the question came up here. Um, my uh, brake caliper is actually stuck and um, on limited funding. So I am just going to deal with it until Monday when I get paid, or Sunday when I get paid. And I go ahead and force it back in and then I'll get it to pump back out with no problem. But once it's out, it's stuck out. It, more than likely, there's rust buildup or something in there holding it up because it's not leaking. So I'm going to just get me some uh, channel locks, and I'm going to put it on here for tighter grip. And I'm going to just crank down on this sucker as, as much as I can and to push this cylinder back in. I may have to go to a giant C-clamp to actually make it do it. I don't know. I hope not. I hate using C-clamps. So, But yeah. Anyhow, I'll cut back in here momentarily. All right, so what you want to do next is you're going to loosen up the uh, the frame that holds the caliper on. So you're going to take the hammer and just take that loose right there. Okay. Same thing on the top one. So take that loose. <coughs> All right, you get these bolts out of your way, and you pop this frame out. Of course, you want to take the old hardware off of the uh, the frame also, so you, you can get that out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. I'm running low on battery, so I'm trying to cut this video short. So, all right. So, so once you do it, is set your brake caliper down out of the way gently. It can hang on the hose for a minute, but you don't want it hanging there too long. Take your old rotor off. There's really nothing wrong with my rotors, but this kit came with new rotors. So, go ahead and use them. So, anyhow, and then you can take your caliper, set it back up here where it's out of the way. And you want to take your, your frame, your brake caliper frame, you want to take it, put it back on there, like so. My head's going to be in the way for a moment. Okay. You kind of get those started just a little bit. And then you just tighten them up. Get them good and tight. Okay, and I'll be right back. All right, so what you want to do next is you're going to be putting your hardware kit on. So, put your brake calipers over here. Uh, these only go on one certain way, so uh, you, you can't possibly screw that up. You just, you'll know if you do. And they just clip on. There's no bolts or anything that hold them in place. So, uh, those go in there like that and then what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of brake grease and you take your little bit of brake grease put just a dabble of it on your pinky and you just kind of put them right there in those guides where where your uh, where your brake pad 
thing where, where the adjuster is at there you, you'll see it so and don't put your brake grease away yet because you're still going to need it so then what you do is you take your brake pad your Detroit axle brake pad um, don't ask me what the green gunk is I can't remember the name of it but I will find out eventually and I'll just comment below what it is but it will burn off after you uh, drive on it for about a mile or so so it won't be a problem so take your uh, you take your brake pad slide it in there like so and you take your other brake pad slide it in there also You want your in and out pad on there. Why does that look so big in there? All right, I'll be back in a moment. All right, so anyhow, I uh, figured I was doing it wrong. My rotor went on all the way. It went and went to even up. So uh, what I like to do is I take just a little bit of brake grease and I put it on this back plate here. You don't have to be perfect, but I just put just enough on there to lubricate. It just basically noise reduction. That's what I've always been told. I just stick with doing it. So uh anyhow, uh I figured out my brake caliper problem, so uh, that's should be fixed for now. I'm still gonna replace it, but it's gonna be later on down the road. So Anyway, so now what you want to do is I got two brand new bolts or brand newish bolts. I'm going to put back in here instead of the uh, other ones that I had. I think. Nope, nope, I can't. I got to use, got to use that up because. Okay, so anyhow. So what, what I'm going to do is take this brake caliper and just slid on there a little bit. There we go. So take your brake caliper and you line up your bolts. You can go finger, finger snug in there for a moment, and then boom, suck it. So 13 oh. and my socket stuck on there and here's the 12 all right so there you go. So that that is what it takes to change uh, the rotors and brake pads. It's that easy. Um, like I said, begin the video. Uh, all my social media links will be in the description below. Um, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Check out my shirts. They are limited time. There is only uh, currently forty eight of them left um, of the fifty. So uh, you got till March 13th to order those. Check that link out below. It's a pretty good little uh, shirt. I may run these shirts again if they do very well. So, um, but yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.